Hi folks, this is Shelly from TamingFrenzy.com and I wanted to pop in real quick to share a tip that I learned many years ago from my Nana. You know, it's funny, our grandmothers and our great-grandmothers, our older female relatives, they had some wonderful money-saving tips that they put to use during the Great Depression, during the war years, and all the years later. One of the things that I remember vividly when I would go visit my, my Nana is every time after lunch or dinner, she would take a look at what was left over. And if there was a little bit of green beans left over in the dish, instead of throwing it in the trash, she pulled out what she called her soup can. Now her soup can literally was a metal coffee can with the plastic lid that she kept in the freezer. And anytime there was any kind of leftovers from, from dinner, from supper, from her preparing a recipe, instead of throwing those leftovers in the trash, she would scrape them into this, to the soup can. If uh, supper was over and there was a little bit of corn left, instead of throwing it in the trash, she pulled out the soup can. She literally would scrape the corn into the soup can. She might go look at the pot and see, okay, there's a little bit of roast beef left. Not enough to make a sandwich. Maybe don't really want to feed the dog with it, but instead of throwing it in the trash or feeding it to the dog, she would scrape it into the soup can. If she was preparing a recipe and it only called for two-thirds of a can of something, instead of throwing the rest of that down the, the sink or throwing it down the garbage disposal or scraping it into the sink, she would literally put that in the soup can. If she had leftover chicken broth, vegetable broth, beef broth, she would pour that into the soup can. And the soup can all of the time stayed in her freezer, clearly marked. It was very clearly identifiable what it was. But when the soup can was filled up, she would pull the soup can out of the freezer. She would put it into the refrigerator and let it thaw for a couple of days. And then she would dump the contents into her soup pot. Now, she might need to add some more water. She might need to add a little bit more bouillon. She might need to chop up a little more vegetables to go off in that. And she would add seasonings to it. But it always made a wonderfully tasty soup, literally out of scraps that would have otherwise gone in the trash. Now, instead of us today using perhaps a metal coffee can, personally what I use is a, a Tupperware freezer type container. This way I can easily see what it is sitting in my freezer. I can pop the lid on and off and I can pour any extra scraps and things off into there. One tip that I do suggest is that if you have any ingredients that are hot, Give them a little bit to cool down before you add them to that freezer container or to your modern day soup can. Anyway, this is just a tip I wanted to share. Goodness knows with things being more than crazy like they are right now, that it's always a, it's always a good time to work on saving money. And But this is also another way to literally get another meal out of table scraps and food ingredients that you would have otherwise simply scraped into the trash. Anyway, it's a wonderful idea. I would love to hear some of the tips that you have learned from your grandmothers and great-grandmothers. I'd love it if you'd share those in the comments below or pop over to TamingFrenzy.com and share those with us there. In the meantime, this is Shelly. I hope you have a wonderful week. And in the meantime, tame a little bit of your frenzy.